Hello Mariners, I am Potos and welcome back to some more lovely Sail Wind. I have been away for a hot minute, you may have noticed I've been away for Christmas, for New Year's, things have been going on, but I'm back. It's a new year and we're almost ready to take on the new challenge of sailing to Dragon Cliff in this little starting vessel. But before we do that, we have to head of course back down south to Gold Rock City and where last we left off, we made it all the way, eventually navigating by Northern Star and by luck mostly to the island of Oasis, which happened apparently to be inhabited. Let's possibly buy some of this lovely grain which might be cheaper here than it is in Gold Rock City so potentially we can trade it in in Gold Rock City for a bit more profit. I'm not sure exactly how trading in general works. I've only ever done the missions. Speaking of missions, we probably need some missions. Then of course it's time to walk along the jetty, take off the mooring ropes, let down the sail and say goodbye and farewell to the island of Oasis which has treated us quite well and made us very welcome. And let's head south! Well that's me getting sleepy as we say goodbye to Oasis Island, the most northerly island in our area of the map. So north in fact that it's on the world map rather than the local map. And just gonna make sure we uh, gonna make sure we missed this island to the left of us and then I think it's time to get some sleep. Uh oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think, did we hit something? Why am I still sleeping? <laughs> Why is it still like I'm sleeping? I'm awake, I want to be awake. What's going on here? I think we're out of ground. This may be a little bit of a bug. May have to do a bug report here. Uh, where is my lantern? Yeah, we appear to be a little bit grounded. Um, that's okay. I'll put the, this back in there so we can keep the light. Hopefully, we can push off. Okay, goodbye. Come on. Okay, get off the uh, the land, the sandbank. But yeah, that's a bit of a, a thing that happened. Just a random land bank. Yeah, it's the end of this. I thought we'd missed it. I didn't realise it stretched all the way down over here. I did take a bit of a chance to be honest, I just, I just wanted to get on with it. Right, I will be back once I've uh, managed to dislodge us from this sandbank here. Okay, we finally dislodged it, I put the sails up and I gave it a bit of a push. But crouching and pushing seemed to do the trick. Uh, put these, right, let's release this bad boy. We've still got the old dreamy stars in our face. Um, hopefully that will go away when we sleep or wake up normally. We need to drink properly, hang on. Okay, so this is playing at real time. I have no idea what's going on. Some kind of time, some kind of, some kind of update to, <laughs> some, <laughs> some kind of update to the um, it waking you up when there's a. Oh no! Well, I fell off the boat, and I'm going 100 miles an hour. Okay, time just. Okay. Okay, we've gone into the matrix. Time is going at accelerated speed. Yeah, they've done an update so you can um, you'll wake up when you're on the ground and it just it, it hasn't you know it's, it's introduced a couple more bugs maybe. But that's early access. Okay, I'm gonna have to all F4. <laughs> no, I'm not accepting it. I'm not accepting it. Okay, I've reloaded the game. We're back to being run aground, but we don't have the stars. So hopefully, when we do go to sleep again, it will all be. Um, normal and we'll still be within the matrix and uh, everything will be okay she's away and she's stuck again she's away <laughs> just keep going keep going you can do it other ship well right, I think you're I think you're free the water does actually all go up and down with the waves so Right, oh, don't miss the ship. We're still, am I still crouching? We're definitely moving quite at a, a small rate of knots there. You buy a little beach that tried to capture us. Okay, everything's gonna be alright. 
Okay, are we going south still? Let's uh, turn to the right. Make sure we're going on a southerly direction because obviously we the sun the sun's coming up and uh, we were going towards the east. So yeah, I might leave that in there because it was a little bit amusing what happened there, and um, I'll get the dev because uh, I'm in the devs Discord by the way. The uh, the uh, the games Discord where the dev is in there and he's quite good at responding to bugs and such likes. So maybe we'll get him to check it out, see what he thinks, see if we can do it a quick fix. I'm sure it won't be, well, I don't know how much, how hard it'll be, but he seems quite good at it. It makes it look easy to fix the bugs. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, well, yeah, no harm done too much. We're on our way. We lost a day, but I think we can probably get to um, Oasis. No, not Oasis. We just came from Oasis. I think we can get to uh, Gold Rock City about too much fuss because it's such a big island when we get to within like three days of gold Rock city we should be able to see it so it shouldn't be too hard to navigate to just keep going south don't run aground again and uh we'll see how it goes just don't starve don't run out of water um they've reduced the amount of fishing hooks you get so i don't think we're going to get as many fishing hooks next time we buy uh a box of hooks that's okay so when we were when we when we were there in the last place i got us some north fish thinking we could sell that maybe no that's what no i picked up the mission to get the fish and beer there that's our missions got four days left to get to gold rock city i don't know we'll get there you know <laughs> i don't know if we will get there because we lost a day oh dear the beer might not be in time but that's okay six days to get to the fish there should be all right um and the fish there and we've got some water there hopefully the water will last us um and we've got a barrel of grain and some lamb i'm thinking we can maybe sell that rather than eat it but you know, we'll see how it goes. Where's the fishing rod? I'm gonna need some fish. Yeah, the place is a mess. Uh, I'd like to have a little bit at the back so we can stand there and fish. What I like, ideally. There we go. It's got a hook. Let's have a go. You can still see Oasis Island, which is not brilliant, but hey, that's all right. Looks like a big one. What is it? What is it gonna be? Salmon, lovely. Eat that. Eat it raw. It's raw. Have I still not got my sleep back? Still haven't got my sleep back. There we go, lovely fish. And it's just a little. What was it again? Tuna. So apparently I haven't got my sleep back. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm just going to have to sleep again because I don't know why I'm still tired. I did sleep. So yeah, let's get some more sleep, I guess. Right, let's get up and have some water. Whoa, crap. That's a, that's a big wave. Whoa, no. Put it away. What? Well, it still doesn't appear to that to be that bad, but what's going on? I think I've got my sail at the wrong angle. What's probably happened here? Put this down. Yeah, the wind's going from the behind, so let's uh, let's let this out a bit. That's better. So basically the the kind of rule is 45 degrees from the wind unless the wind's behind you in which case in fact let's point it just straight on in fact just let it go like that no not that much i think we turned around a bit um That's fine, that's fine, that'll do. 
Ich finde das gut. Reporter in the bed, actually. Yeah, that's about right. Let's double check this. So yeah, the wind is coming from... It's a strange thing because those sounds are curved so it's kind of a little bit harder to read but... Yeah, if the, if the wind is coming from behind and to the left, you just pretty much have the, the sail straight. It's straight at the bit before it curves. It's a, str it's a strange thing. But yeah, you just have it straight towards the, like as in perpendicular to the direction you're going, as in 90 degrees. Um, which it kind of is. I mean, I'm sure I'll get something in the comments telling me I've done it wrong. <laughs> but that's how I'm, that's how I'm reading it. Um, it looks okay. That looks about right in the picture. Yeah, it looks a bit normal. That looks about it. Yeah, that's fine. Right, we need to drink and get to bed again. Um, drink. The only thing I'm worried about is, is running out of water. Will I spill some of that? I think I spilled some of that. Or did I, did I pour it back in again? I don't know. Right, you go back in there. Um, I'm gonna have to catch a fish before we go to sleep again. I'll try and stay awake as much as I can during the day, actually, because I don't particularly want to be awake at night time and asleep in the in the daytime. I'm not, I'm not a hedgehog, you know. You know what? I don't think I'm ever gonna get right. I don't think I'm ever gonna. Is that sun in the? Is that midday sun? Do you reckon? I don't think I'm ever gonna get right. No, it's not. That is definitely a westerly sun. Yeah, I'm never going to get that right. <laughs> I'm always going to miss it every time. It doesn't matter too much, but... The good thing about the one at night time, the Northern Star one, is that, you know, the, quad the quadrant, is that you can do it any time of night. Oh. And the, uh, the daytime one, you can only do it at a particular time of day. Get in the ship. Oh, that's not. Oh, come on. In you go. In you come. Collect. Homeward bound. Oh, we can already see it. We can already see Gold Rock City. We're coming home, guys. We're coming home. As sleepy as we are, we're coming home. Okay, so we've made it pretty much to bedtime. And I'm really sleepy. So, uh, I'd like to eat one more thing before bedtime and then sleep through the night. And it'll be best for me and you to see what we're doing. If we don't see you again before then, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everyone. Okay, it's morning, and look what I can see over there! Look what I can see over there! That, if I'm not mistaken, is a very close to Gold Rock City. I don't know how many days have gone past, I'm not sure exactly what's happened with the timing of all of this, but here we are. I mean, we're not here, here, but we can see it. Um, nice! Okay, we need food. We do have food over here, which is uh, the lamb, of course. Don't really want to be uh, eating that if I can help it, because I wouldn't mind selling it. Just to see if we can make a profit, but I don't know. Maybe we should just eat it. We're going to need to change direction. Um, are we still going south? Yeah. All right, let's swing around. Although, typically it would be taking us into the wind, which isn't the best. Maybe we won't swing around. Yeah, let's do that and then just pull this pull this tight. Uh, 
that makes sense. Look, I feel like I can change the camera a bit. But I'm gonna go fishing and I'll be back in a bit. Come on, there we are. Look at you. Look at you. Delicious. Good enough to eat raw. I mean, it doesn't fill you up too much. But, you know, it's not an eel. I think I'm going to swing round through the wind. So tack in to the left of that island and go that way. Because I think that will get us closer faster. And then straighten her up. And that's pretty good. I think that's a, a closer approach. But you there at home viewing this channel, I would like to thank you because I have been away for Christmas, for New Year's, but I'm back. And, but you guys have been commenting and liking and watching and it has been really motivating to come back and make this video and I want to make many more and I want to do that adventure to Dragon's Cliff. So maybe next time, after we get to Gorok City, we're going to head out on our major adventure which we've been building up to. The long voyage to, gold, to uh, Dragon's Cliff, is the, that's the correct name. From Gold Rock City to Dragon's Cliff. But yeah, thank you guys for the for the likes. Yeah, every time I see that somebody's clicked the like button or left a really like, nice comment, it really does put a nice warm, cozy feeling in my heart. Like, uh, yeah, that's why you make these videos. Because uh, hopefully somebody, like one person, would enjoy it. So yeah, let's uh, let's carry on the voyage, guys. Before we get too soppy about it all. I do actually have a personal Discord I could put in the comments if anybody is interested. Yeah, I'll pop, I'll pop it in there and if anybody wants to join and uh, hang out in the Discord for the chats, for the tips, for the su suggestions, for the jokes, for the memes, then uh, you're welcome, you know? No pressure though, no pressure cooker. I would like some advice though. I'd like some advice in the comments, if it's okay with you, if you could take a little bit of a moment out of your day to give me some advice, if you've been playing this yourself. We are, gonna, we are of course going to do that big long voyage to Dragon's Cliff, what shall I take? Someone I think has said take at least four barrels of water. Anything else? Is it worth taking trade goods? Is it worth doing uh, any missions? Is there a different boat I should buy than the one available in Gold Rock City? I think I heard that there's a different boat for each major town, so maybe, like, three, maybe three major boats. But it'll be interesting. Like, what would be the most enjoyable boat to see me? I mean, it's way off, isn't it? It's a way off. It's a way off before we get to Dragon's Cliff. If we ever get there, I might not get there. It might end in disaster. So, what I have heard in the latest update that they've added a few items, like there's a telescope now. So we're definitely going to have to buy a telescope when we get to Gold Rock City. Yeah, they sell them only in like, the, the city areas, not in the small islands like we just came from. So that should be a good thing to do. Don't get stormy now. I uh, Don't get stormy. I'm trying to get into the... I'm going to get home nicely and uneventfully. Okay, the waves are getting a bit big now. I can't even see it. There it is. Uh, let's, let's change course towards it a bit more. There we go. Now you're laughing. Uh, ah man. Okay, I'm going to tap the other way a bit. What about attacking? We're getting hungry. I might go a bit further to the right just to
I do have quite bad luck with wind, <laughs> and I'm not talking about my ind indigestion. I don't, I'm talking about every time I leave a um, a harbour, the wind is blowing me onto the wall. You know, every time I'm like heading towards an island, I'm headed into the wind. I just have bad luck with wind, you know. What did I just? What did I just see? Did I see a flash? Come on, fish. These don't fill you up too much. Where's he gone? Where's my fish gone? I had him in the boat. Where's my fish gone? What a jip. I don't know if I'm even moving at the moment because I'm laughing. What fish over here? I don't see if I can see my fish, but... Yeah, I think they've made it so you'd lose something if you go in the water now. Like, you lose food or you lose sleep or something. Yeah, oh, look at... What am I saying about bad, bad luck about wind? Look at that! <gasps> There's my fish! I'm going backwards. <laughs> um, yeah, if you head into the wind, you could actually go backwards. But well, I'm gonna have to eat this here. Okay, let's not head into the wind. Let's do what the direction we were doing before. I'll put that down. Come on. There's a storm coming. Ah! Straighten up, straighten up. Oh no, 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 not too much. Oh crap. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> oh god. Um. This is gonna get hairy. Hold on tight, guys. Hold on tight, boys and girls. Well, I want you to be the bat because I don't uh, trust you not to go over or something. Oh, come on, let's hard left, hard left. Oh, we've got the wind in our face. I'm trying to go left, I'm steering left, but we're, we're stuck in the wind now. I'm going to have to get out and push again just to... Oh! Come on. Oh, man. The waves... Look at, see, look how close we are to the... It's not that deep. Anybody who wonders, like, can you use an anchor out this far out from the island? Yes, you definitely can. It's only when you go between uh, maps that you can't use an anchor. Uh, it looks like we might have to go all the way. It looks like we might have to go all the way around like 360 to get through that because of the uh, the wind. That might be a thing we do. It might be easier to go right rather than left. Okay, we'll, we'll try that. We'll try the plan. Let's go all the way around. This might be a terrible idea. And of course it's getting dark, not only is it... Oh no... Dark, stormy nights. Right, before it gets too dark I'm gonna have... Um, the water. Unfortunately I think I've run out of lantern juice. Before we head to... Dragon's Cliff, remind me to buy extra lanterns. Okay, we're, we're kind of coming up to south now again, so let's straighten up, straighten up. The south laughing a bit. Maybe we've gone too far. Let's go a bit left a bit. Whoa! What was that? I feel like I nearly got struck by lightning. 
can't see where we're heading now. It's just too dark. We're in the storm. No. Everywhere we look, it's just stormy. I don't think it's I don't think it's properly night time, I'm not sure. I decided I need to do some fishing in the storm. Because I'm very hungry. Cut fish, cut fish. Don't stay in the ship. Where are you? Tuna. You'll do. I think I'm gonna drop the anchor and go to sleep and then head off in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. We are really hungry. I'm pulling up the uh, the anchor chain. Like, really hungry. Like, about to starve hungry. I might have to have one of these lambs because I don't think we're going to make it otherwise. Yeah, it's probably the best thing to do once I pull this up. Okay, I'm going to have a lamb. Uh, can we eat this? Is it raw? Is it cooked? Who knows? It, it's, it's really, really good. It's really good. Okay. And I'm not quite sure how far away that is. It might still be a couple of days away, actually. We've got four days to get that there, and then for the beer, two days. Ooh. Okay, we may still be racing against time. I'm not actually sure how far away that is. You'd think I'd know by now. I've got a feeling it's just like a day or two away, actually. Like a, maybe a day or day and a half. Let's put this uh, down, I reckon. Aim towards the island. Looks like the wind isn't hating us right now, so we can go straight there. Uh, left a bit, left a bit, left a bit. And there she goes. Not the best win, but it's okay. And this is always tight, but yeah, it's fine. In fact, if we went left a bit more, it wouldn't be even better. A bit more left. There we go. We're coming home, God, what city? We're coming home. I like how you can see all the boxes, how I arranged them, you know, how the, you can see the map and the boxes and the beer. It's all, it's all physics, it's all physics. It's all calculated with you know, the heavy, the heaviness of the boxes and how they affect the ship and... Quite good, it's quite good. Apparently on the roadmap they are going to um, introduce a a character model eventually that you'll be able to see like on the third part of the camera you'll be able to see you standing there on the bowels or whatever around by the figurehead or where the figurehead would be. I've made a suggestion to the dev that maybe we should have uh, nameplates where you can you can pay to get them engraved and you have to carry them to the to your vessel and attach them attach them like in person to your your ship. I think that would be a really nice touch. And I think it's been received quite well, but who knows if that suggestion will be implemented. <laughs> oh dear. If I remember to observe this at midday today, I will eat my hat. I well, we caught a fish, so I might as well eat it. Okay, let's make sure we're actually going towards where we want to go. We were pretty close. Of course coming in from the north side because there's two islands for this but one's obviously behind the other. Oh what's the time is it? Okay we're not too late, we're not too late. I think we're going to go to the left a bit. Okay, let's go to the left. Point to the left of the island. And if we have to go all the way around the other side, then so be it. 
But for speed, I think this is going to be the fastest way to go uh, not not so much into the wind. Nothing wrong with going from the, from the left side, nothing wrong with that. So yeah, this is mostly a gentle episode to get us back into the, the groove of the new year because the next mission after this will be the one we've all been waiting for. The scary one. The long, arduous adventure, which will never probably end. Or if it does end, it will probably end in uh, destruction and a watery sinking feeling. But who knows, we could get lucky. I think I have I am thinking that we're gonna take a lot of meat with us because that the meat seems to go down well. In fact I'm not sure we're gonna finish a box of meat that we've got so far. We'll probably still have this meat, but I'm probably gonna take the rest of this box and another box of meat maybe. Because it was good eating. Good eating. And we're gonna get a telescope, maybe four barrels of water and whatever other uh, mission boxes we can take who knows I can see the beach we're pretty near I can actually see the sand there of course it does go a bit fish eyed towards the edges of the screen so you can kind of like magnetize, magnify it Yep, not long now, we're nearly there. We are nearly there to our destination. It almost feels like home, it's like our home area. This is meant to be the easy map, the more calmer map. But we've had storms, storms galore in this region. So it will be fun to leave this region to find out what it's like in other places. Is it going to be worse than this? Is it going to be the same? Have I just had really bad luck? What is it like, going to be like to be truly on the open ocean waves between, far between two local maps? It's going to, next episode is going to be the culmination of everything I've learned so far. I say next episode, it's going to be such a long journey, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get it all in one episode. So, we'll see, we'll see. The thing about this game is, um, you can kind of plan what you want to do, but you know, the best laid plans, who knows what's actually going to happen and how it's all going to pan out. So it's often as much a surprise to me as it is to you. I feel like we can cut that corner a bit more. Is that, is that living dangerously? You can see how shallow the water is here. I may be tempting fate with this uh, this tight corner here. We are quite a shallow vessel though. Oh hang on, I've missed it haven't I? <laughs> Based towards the sun, no, okay. Yeah, I've completely missed that. Oh, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> it's okay. We don't really need it until we get to uh, on our voyage, but I guess I'm gonna have to really pay attention when we get to the voyage. But I guess there'll be less things to um, be occupied with. It will be all right. Then we can see the walls of Gold Rock City just there. Let's um, go a little bit tighter. Yeah, we're safely going to be able to get our mission goods to the destination on time. As the sun sets again over Goldblock City, and they welcome and they welcome us home. Hard to starboard, get through this wind. I think I may have completely misjudged this. We get through the arc and it's actually a way in this way. I don't think we can get in this way. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go around a bit more. Never mind, false alarm, let's go around again. <laughs> let's go left. Hard to pull. We can't get in the that's the back of it. Got two days to get this beer there. Oh, 
Oh, uh, I mean that was only a little bit embarrassing. It'll be alright. <laughs> we'll go round to the correct entrance in a second. We tried to go in the wrong way. I might anchor here actually and then go in the morning. Well, I'm going to wake up to have a delicious lamp. Because they are just delicious. And it's morning outside Gold Rock City, so let's drop... Oh, actually, let's raise the anchor first. I think we're going to be on time to get our missions in. Which will be good. Yeah, let's drop the sail. Yeah, we couldn't get in there. That was a silly, silly, silly idea. That's a river. Do we want to turn in between those, that land and, the, and those stakes that say it's shallow? I think we do for fun. I think the challenge of going between... Because we're, we're small, we're a small vessel. That's the only... No, we don't want to do that because we're going to go into the wind. Okay, point taken. Keep going left. Never mind. It's a foolish plan. It seems whatever way I face, I'm getting the wind. I'm not quite sure why. I'm facing that way, I get the wind, I get that way, I get the wind. Alright, we're having really bad luck with the wind right now, so we're going to go hard left and then just get out of this uh, little bit of uh, isolation here. And then once we're far enough to the in this direction, we'll take a hard right and then we'll go straight into harbour. I, thought, I just thought it'd be fun to go through that little bit, but the wind is always against us. Because I am here, and I have bad luck with wind. Look at this wave. Alright, now we can go hard to start with. Through the wind again, hopefully it will not stop dead. Hopefully we've got the momentum to get around. There we go. Straighten her up. We're coming home, Gold Rock City, we're coming home. I think we can go hard to starboard now and go straight towards the wall. Obviously the cell could be more perfect, but we're not aiming for too much speed right now. I know we are going to come in quite fast. <laughs> okay, once we get a bit near, I'm going to have to raise the sails to slow us down a bit. And then we'll come in, and we'll be coming in quite close to where we sell the mission goods, which will be nice. See the seabirds up there. Okay, it's it, we're getting close. You get closer than you think because the old fish island scenario. There we are. Move it around. Alright, Gold Rock City, here we are. Make sure this is properly up now. Grab that up. The old back spring. Where's it gone? There we are. Oh. Gonna jump on board. Uh, 
Ocho. You there. Where's the front one? Oh, and put you there. And that will be good. And then we can uh, offload our goods and sell it all. Right, not sell it all, but like. Alright, let's take our beer back, complete this mission, get some reputation. Everyone's gonna like us. We're a day early, dude, we're a day early. Have some fish as well. There's the rest of your fish. We could take five missions here if we, want, if we wanted. Hang on, just have a quick look about what missions go into. And you go to Dragon Cliffs? Goods to Dragon Cliff. Whoa, we'd get 3,929 to take goods. Uh, two of them weighing 80 pounds to Dragon Cliff. Well, guys, we are going to be back in the next episode to do more Sailwind. And we're going to take this small little vessel all the way to Dragon's Cliff. All the way across the open sea in our most perilous and intrepid adventure yet. Join me next time. And as always, you have been awesome, I have been Potos, goodbye!